Hi! This is me starting my week two on the vegetable challenge. And it... <laughs> what? <laughs> it's been going really well. I had to bump up um, to like 13 or 14 because I do jog every day. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I actually jog in the morning and then I go to a total body class. So I'm just, 1,200 is just really low for those days. But I haven't gone over 1,400 except for yesterday. <laughs> what are you doing? We, <laughs> we, <laughs> this is Mocha. <laughs> we went out to eat um, at Buffalo Wings or whatever it's called. And, oh, I just, I was like, well, maybe just one day a week if I just go. Because all that day I was really, really good. And so I'm not sure how much I went over. But um, I got reminded, though, that I, when I got really full. Because I thought, well, we'll just see if my energy bumps up. And it, my energy went down, actually. So I was worried that I was just really tired from the low amount of calories but then after I ate a lot I actually just felt really sleepy and I wanted to go to sleep so my energy is low because I am exercising a lot and then my kids have been sick so they've been staying home and so just um, dealing with that I guess but uh, let's see what else did I learn um, Oh yeah, in the mornings, I notice it's best to have a big chunk of my calories in the morning or it just messes me up all day long. I was having like blueberries for breakfast and then I'd run and um, just even if I ate after that, it was just, ugh. so I've learned to have some really good complex carbs. So I have gluten-free oatmeal in the morning. I have um, one cup of it like after it's cooked and um that fuels my workout and then afterwards I have my protein and and then I just snack like I just divide it up and just snack on vegetables and all that good stuff for the rest of the day and so after I learned I had to have carbs like real car I mean vegetables and fruit are real carbs but like you know like thick carbs <laughs> like oatmeal and um, that did a lot better <laughs> you're just so sweet and <laughs> so, um, bless you. <laughs> and of course, I'm going to forget something. I need to write something, write this down. But if you have any questions for me, I will answer them. Oh, yeah, the update on my weight. I can't find my scale because we moved. And so it's somewhere in boxes or something like that. So I've been weighing myself at my mom's house. And so it's really not accurate because... Me, throughout the day, I can be five pounds heavier in the evening every single day just from water and food and all that. So in the morning, it's really consistent. So I've weighed myself at her house. <laughs> You're just so loving. <laughs> um, so when I first weighed myself at her house, I was 148. Um, previously, I, w I did get up to 153, and before I made the, la you know, the vegetable challenge video, I already lost, like, to 148. Um, but then I was having, I was struggling sticking to it, so that's why I wanted to share it, because when I'm on video, I stick to it, because <laughs> people are watching. But, um, yeah, so then today I went over there and weighed myself, and I was 146, so... Um, that might be two pounds. It could be a pound and a half because I weighed myself a little later when I was 148. So I could be either the same. <laughs> I hope not. But, um, that just, I guess, goes to show that, like, well, my body just does not need much because I only lost two pounds, maybe. And I ate under 1,400 and I work out five days a week. So... Um, of course, it's my last 10 pounds, which is the hardest to lose. So, if you're losing your first 10 pounds, if you eat 1,400 calories, it'll come right off. <laughs> if you're consistent. I've learned that if I mess up on the weekends, it just messes it all up, which makes it really frustrating. But, I have to remind myself that um, I only have to be strict until it's off. And then I can maintain, like with exercise. So, when I want to maintain, I can bump it to... Um, like 1600 or something and then just keep working out and I should stay the same 
the reason why I haven't been staying the same is because I've just been eating whatever. <laughs> and luckily, the fact that I exercise so hard has been keeping me. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> but we need to get him fixed. He's just a little hormonal all the time. But, um, so yeah, if I've forgotten to update something. Oh, and the 30% fat, 30% protein. Um, I went ahead and bumped down my fat just because, like, 30 grams of fat is is healthy too on the calorie count page so because I've learned if I bump down my fat I can eat more vegetables and protein and then um, I feel like I have more energy so I think 30 grams of fat should be good enough but found some <laughs> so I will update you next week unless you have a request and I can try to get that in so thanks for watching